Hey, what is going on guys? Thanks for checking out this video on my sports, Gematria. In this video, I'm going to go over all five UFC matches for Saturday, February 15th, 2021. I'm going to show you both sides of each fight, and it'll be up to you to determine who you think is going to win based on the numbers. I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick. And if for whatever reason you're curious to know who I'm picking, these games will always be on my Patreon in writing, underlined, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the description of this video. I wish you guys the best of luck in your picks today. Let's go ahead and get into the matches. So we have five good ones here. Let's start with... Daily numbers, Gregorian, Hebrew calendar, this side of my game numbers. Doesn't really matter who's on top, who's on bottom. One fighter's on top, one fighter's on bottom. To and from their birthday, their record, UFC record. And then the, the versus head to head Gematria. And then location Gematria, class Gematria, and event. So the first one here, Julian versus Mackie, I think it's pronounced. Uh, Mackie versus Julian. This is UFC 258. The words 258, some to 112. Today is the first day of the 12th month on the Hebrew religious, like 112. If Mackie wins this fight, he would get his 14th win for his career. 14 sums to 112. At the same time, though, if he loses this fight, he would become 1 in 4, like 14, for a UFC record. So that can go either way. This is Mackey's 21st fight for his career. And with the loss, Julian would become 7-3, like 73, the 21st prime number with the loss. However, at the same time, Julian could just become 2-1, and one, like 21, for a UFC record with the win against Mackey. So that goes either way. Mackey, it's the 82nd day of his current age. 82 sums to 132. Today is the 13th of February, 2 slash 13, 13 slash 2, like 132. With the win, Julian can become 8 and 2 for a UFC fight record, like 82, which sums to 132 on the 13th of February. You could write today's date like 213 instead of 13 slash 2, like 213. And Mackey with the loss in his 21st fight would get his third loss in a row. 21, 3, 213. 213. So there's some interesting numbers for both sides here. You got the 73 that could play out, 21 and the 14 here. But then you have the 82 and the 82 and the 14 here and the 21 here. Next fight, Jim Miller, Bobby Green. Um, this one's a tough one. A lot of good numbers here. When we were talking about the last fight, the date being the 13th of February, 13 slash 2. 13th of February, like 132. The number 37 also sums to 132. And this is Jim Miller's 37th UFC fight for his career. He's currently 37 years old. And for Bobby Green, it's 157 days since his birthday. 157 is the 37th prime number. 37, mathematically, is the uh, 12th prime number. 
12. And Bobby Green with the loss. 157 days since his birthday. Jim Miller's 37th fight, 37 years old, 12th prime. He can get his 12th. Bobby Green can get his 12th loss for his career. Uh, 37, also sums to 60, just like the number 33, also sums to 60, and Jim Miller, as Bobby Green gets his 12th loss for his career, Jim Miller can get his 33rd win for his career. Jim Miller would sit on 14 UFC losses. This being UFC 258, which sums to 112. 14 sums to 112. And today is the first day of the 12th month on the Hebrew. Like 112, 112. However, with that being said, today does have 20 date numerology on the Gregorian. 20 sums to 28, and it also sums to 107. 107 is the 28th prime number. And Bobby Green with the win can get his 28th win for his career. He would uh, sit on 11 losses for his career with the win. Today does have 11 date numerology on the Gregorian. And he would become 961 for a UFC record. 961 has a square root of 31, the 11th prime number. It's 157 or a total span, so it's the 158th day of his birthday. And it's the 16th UFC fight for his career. With the loss, Jim Miller would get his 16th loss for his career as he sits on 32 wins 32 if i can spell it correctly sums to 158 you know so there's some there's some numbers here 32 16 and then with the 16 as well it is the first day of the sixth month on the uh hebrew civil like 16 and so that could just be that on the 158th day, he keeps Jim Miller on 32 wins. 32 sums to 158. So there's two sides there uh, for you to uh, consider. Definitely add more to it if you need to. Uh, some pretty good numbers there. So Kelvin uh, Gestalem versus Ian Heinzik or Heinix. Heinish? Heinish? Ian Heinish? Heinish? Kelvin Gastelum. I'm so bad with pronouncing names. I apologize, you guys. But today is the hundred and or excuse me, first day of the twelfth month on the Hebrew religious, which looks like hundred and twelve. Kelvin, it's hundred and twelve days since his twenty ninth birthday. It's UFC two hundred and fifty eight. Two hundred fifty eight sums to hundred and twelve. Ian can sit on 14 wins for his career with the loss. 14, we've gone over this before. 14 sums to 112. Today does have, or today is, the 44th day on the Gregorian Civil. And today is Ian's 193rd day of his current age. 193 is the 44th prime number. 44 sums to 144 and Ian can become 14-4 for a career record with the loss like 144. Kelvin would get his 17th win for his career 17 sums to 44 so it kind of goes along with that theme however with how good that looks, there's always another side every single time. Now, Kelvin, he has a no contest fight. 
in his uh, fight record. So this is actually his 24th fight of his career instead of 23rd. And 24 sums to 167. And if he loses, he would become 16-7, like 167 for his fight career. You know, he would stay on that 16th win. We know today is the first day of the sixth month on the Hebrew Civil, like 16. Ian, his name, Ian Heenish, Heenish, sums to 63 in two of the four base ciphers. The number 63, if I can spell it, sums to 153 and 117. He can become 15-3 for a fight record, like 153. And then Kelvin would become 11-7, like 117, for a UFC fight record. He would sit on 11 wins. Today does have 11 date numerology on the Gregorian. And 11 does sum to 63. So that's kind of compelling as well. Uh, the, the 144 I really like in the 17, but then... This 153 and 63, I know I know the 11 patterns hit as well. And with it being 153 instead of this 17 for Kelvin, uh, 17, 153 is the 17th triangular number, and that could be the 44 connection. 17 sums to 44. 44th day on the Gregorian. Um... Yeah, so not a not an easy one. Not an easy one. But we'll keep it going. Uh, Macy Barber versus Alexa Grasso. Women's flyweight. Um, this one's not an easy one either. Las Vegas, Nevada sums to 133. And Alexa, with the win, can become 13-3 for a fight record for her career, like 133. Um, her name, Alexa Grasso, sums to 41, the 13th prime number. She would get her 13th win for her career. It is the 13th day of February. Um, but with that being said, Macy Barber can become 4-1 and one for a UFC fight record with the win against Alexa, sums to 41. And then Macy would become 9-1 for a fight record with the win, 91 the 13th triangular number. And 91 also sums to 41. One twenty two forty one ninety one one twenty two forty one. So there's that. Um, but one number we also talked about today with another fight was 82. Today being the 13th day of February, like 132. 82 sums to 132. And with the loss, Macy can just become 8-2 and two for a record, like 82. Her name, Macy Barber, sums to 53. 53 is the 16th prime number. Today is the first day of the sixth month on the Hebrew Civil, like 16. Alexa, this is her 16th fight for her career. She can become 5-3 and three for a UFC record with the win, like 53. But it is the uh, 44th day on the Hebrew Civil, or excuse me, the Gregorian Civil. And she could become 4-4, four and four, like 44, for a UFC fight record with the loss as she gets her fourth loss for her career. So this one's not an easy one. Um, last the last UFC UFC fight night we saw, you know the one thirteens not going. Let me bring it up. So last on the Las Vegas one, it was Las Vegas one thirty three heavyweight one thirty three, and. Um, Alistair Overeem could have gotten his 48th win for his career. 48. 
sums to 133 and 137. And he could have gone 137 for a UFC fight record as he got his 48, 133 in Las Vegas, 133. He did not. I picked Alexander for the fight. Alexander won. So that the 133 didn't connect there. And so it just makes me think here. Get another potential 133 connection. Alexa with the win could become 13-3. Maybe it'll connect because it's more direct. Las Vegas, Nevada, 133. I don't know. And then you can add in the 53 and the 16. 53 the 16th prime. 1-6 on the Hebrew Civil. But this 91 is pretty compelling. 91 sums to 122 and 41. Alexa Grossa, 122 and 41. Macy Barber would become 4-1. and one. So, um... You have to think about this one a little bit. But either way, pick's going to get made. Let's keep it going. Kamaru Usman, Gilbert Burns. Main events. Same thing. Here we go. Las Vegas, Nevada. Sums to 133. Kamaru Usman, 133. Gilbert Burns can become 13-3 for a UFC fight record with a win. I just showed you the example of the last fight night where it didn't work out. And then we potential ha potentially have one 13-3 for Alexa. If I'm going to guess, and it just would be a guess, I would guess either only one of these two fighters are going to become 13-3 tonight, or none of them are going to become 13-3. If both of them become 13-3, I'll be a little shocked. Um, but not really. I mean, anything could happen. Las Vegas sums to 130. Kamaru can become a perfect 13-0 for a UFC fight record. And even in the last, if you guys watched the last UFC fight night video, picks video that I made, you know, I talk about the 133 and the 30. Like when you see fighters come in, usually when fighters come in and pot potentially become 13-3 or have a connection to it, I kind of question it. But usually when fighters come in and they have a chance to become 13-0, I tend to take it. And with Kamaru be potentially becoming 13 and 0 for a UFC record, Nick, I kind of like that. Even though Burns can become 13 3 for a UFC record, uh, Kamaru, this is his 19th fight for his career. 19 sums to 130 and 86. Las Vegas, 86, 130. And maybe this is the 133 connection. Maybe it's in favor for Kamaru instead of against him for Gilbert Burns going 13-3. and three. But as I say that, Gilbert Burns has some pretty good numbers. Today does have 20 date numerology on the Gregorian. Gilbert can get his 20th win for his career. He could sit on that 19. This is Kamaru's 19th fight. 19 sums to 130. He can become a perfect 13-0, and 0, like 130 in Las Vegas, 130. I like that pattern, but he could get his 20th win for his career on 20 date numerology for the Gregorian. His name, Gilbert Burns, sums to 177. Um, oh, I messed up on that one, so he can't get his 17th. Never mind. Let's take that back. For some reason, I was thinking it's 177, but he can't get his 17th win in a row, and Gilbert Burns gets his 7th win in a row, so that doesn't work. So either it's going to go 17th win, 6th Ends the sixth fight, gets the seventeenth win in a row, ends the sixteenth. So sixteen seven, one sixty seven. Is there a twenty four on the board? Twenty four sums to one sixty seven. One sixty seven is the thirty ninth prime. Usman, you just do that. There you go. Usman versus Burns. Sums to thirty nine. One sixty seven, the thirty ninth, thirty ninth prime. Kamaru can end a 16 fight win streak as Gilbert Burns gets his seventh fight in a row. 16-7. 167, the 39th prime. Usman versus Burns. 39. Usman versus Burns sums to 78. Gilbert Burns sums to 78. Today is the first day of the 12th month on the Hebrew, like 112. 258 sums to 112. And 112 sums to 78. 
Um, so I'm kind of all over the place with this one. You know, today does have 40, or is the 44th day of the Gregorian, 4-4. Gilbert Burns can get his fourth loss for his career as he gets his fourth loss UFC career for his UFC career. At the same time, it does have 11 date numerology, and uh, Kamaru can become 3 and 1 for title fights. 31, the 11th prime. He would become 12 and 1 for a UFC fight record. 121 has a square root of 11. Although, if he gets his 17th win in a row, we've talked about that number already tonight too. 17 sums to 44. And then that would come in where Gilbert Burns would get his fourth loss for his career and for the UFC. And he can sit on that 19. Kamara's 19th fight, 19 sums to 130. Become a perfect 13-0 in Las Vegas, 130. So pretty tricky. Pretty tricky stuff. I do like Gilbert Burns, the 20. Somebody already showed me this. UFC 2, uh, 5, or 258. UFC 258 sums to 203. I did not do this. I usually don't do stuff like this. But somebody showed this, put it in a, on one of my comments. UFC 258 sums to 203. Gilbert Burns can become 203, like 203 at UFC 258. The only thing is, is like, I just feel the need to put the 100 in there. UFC 258. You know, and then you have this 124. Uh, Gilbert Burns, he could become 12-4 and four for a UFC record with the loss. However, on the flip side, sums to 277, the 59th prime, 59 the 17th prime. And Gilbert Burns can become 203 as Kamaru sits on 17 wins for his career. So, you know, I don't know. I guess you can just play with words and phrases. Two, UFC 258. UFC 258 sums to 179, the 41st prime. What we got here? Either one of these can get their 13th UFC win, 41, the 13th prime. The number 19 sums to 41. What if we just did 258? Or 258? If we did 258. Two seventeen eight. Now that would be we would need a seventeen. No, uh, one seventy three is the fortieth prime. Um, oh, there's a seventy four. Seventy four. Kamara Usman seventy four. Two oh eight. Two oh nine. So it's 208, 209 days since his birthday on the 27, 207, 207, 208, 209. Could become 203. Where's the 204, 205, 206? Let's find him. Here's the 205. Hebrew civil lifts 205 left. Where's the 204 and the 206? And go from 203, 204, 205, 206, 207, 208, 209. <laughs> Um, all right. Um, let me know if you guys see anything that I'm not catching. You know, there's still plenty of time. I'm going to still look over these, these matches and I'll make my final picks like I always do in writing. Uh, but hopefully I've given you guys enough information here at the very least. Uh, I've given you enough to build off of and you're you can just literally copy paste what I have here and, and come up with your own stuff too. So wish you guys the best of luck. Thanks for watching.